Since ancient times, Indians have realized the importance of water. Therefore, water is also called as Jeevan, which means life. The Water Resources Department, Government of Maharashtra, is dedicated to optimize these water resources in Maharashtra. The primary functions of WRD of the Government of Maharashtra are survey, investigation, planning, designing, construction, maintenance and management of surface water resource projects, including hydropower projects. The hydrology project wing under the Chief Engineer Planning and Hydrology, Nashik, has been established with the objective to extend and promote the sustained and effective use of hydrological information system by all potential users concerned with water resources planning and management. The state of Maharashtra is divided into five major river basins. They are Krishna, Godavari, Tapi, Narmada and west flowing river of Konkan region. The Krishna River Basin of which Bhima is a major tributary covers an area of 70,000 square kilometers. It experiences highly variable rainfalls ranging from 6,000 millimeters in hilly region to 400 millimeters in lower plains. 46 multi-purpose reservoirs located in the basin are conventionally operated as single entity and the data is transmitted manually. This results in considerable time lag for decision-making in emergency flood situations and preparation thereof. Therefore, in the year 2005 and 2006, when Krishna Bhima sub-basin experienced a flash flood, it led to heavy damage to lives and properties in the basin. RTDSS, that is, Real-Time Decision Support System, is developed for Krishna and Bhima Basin in Maharashtra on a pilot basis by Planning and Hydrology, Nashik, under the World Bank-aided India Hydrology Project Phase 2. For development purpose, the system is principally divided into two components, that is, Real-Time Data Acquisition System, that is, RTDAS and real-time stream flow forecasting and reservoir operation system, that is, RTSF and ROS. Let us see the details of RTDAS. The system work includes real-time data acquisition and transmission of hydrometeorological parameters like precipitation, river gauge, reservoir level, spillway gate position, canal gauging, temperature, humidity, atmospheric pressure, wind direction and speed, and solar radiation. The system collects data time to time and transfers that data as input to the decision support system. Out of the total 249 RT-DAS stations, there are 127 automated rainfall stations, 39 automated full climate stations, 37 real-time river canal water level stations, 46 reservoir water level sensors, 26 dams with 175 spillway gate position sensors. Data is collected and transmitted in real time through VSAT or GSM telemetry to data center at an interval of every 15 minutes. On field, the sensor is installed with all its accessories. The accessory includes sensor itself, data logger, batteries, antenna, modems, solar panels, etc. Data Center The data communicated through telemetry is collected at the data center established at Sinchan Bhavan, Pune. The data center is the core of the whole system and is responsible for receiving data from all the remote stations. Based on the received data, alarms and events will be generated and displayed on the web screen. 
graphical user interface in the form of web page is developed to disseminate the RT DAS data through the internet on the website www.rtsfros.com slash Mahakrishna. On the home page of the website, there is a link for real-time data. In RT DAS, within a short time, it transfers information from every station to the data center. RT DAS is such a high technological based system that gives constant updates about the situation. So in a disastrous situation, it is a reliable and a time-saving medium of data communication. This real-time decision support system project is a big achievement for planning and hydrology in Nasik. The system has been implemented through World Bank aided hydrology project phase 2. The real-time data collection through the system is forming reliable database for Krishna and Bhima Basin. The system is working successfully since June 2013 and now well in position to guide the flood monitoring engineers to establish a real-time decision support system in their area. Under the National Hydrology Project recently launched and considering the usefulness and success of the implementation of this pilot project, it is planned to implement RTDAS under proposed NHP throughout Maharashtra state for flood monitoring, forecasting as well as for basin water planning and drought mitigation. Let us move to the next part of RTDSS, that is Real-Time Stream Flow Forecasting and Reservoir Operation System, RTSF and ROS. The Real-Time Stream Flow Forecasting and Reservoir Operation System, RTSF and ROS, is built upon the MIC-11 modeling system, which comprises the hydrological rainfall runoff model the hydraulic river routing model with the data assimilation process used in real-time flow and flood forecasting. The model is designed to supplement the existing decision-making in WRD, which to a large extent is based on decades of experience of operating the dams and on historical data and derived statistics. The model forecasts rainfall in sub-catchments, inflows, outflows and water levels of reservoirs and water level and discharge in the river at various locations, critical from the flood point of view. Fine-tuning of the model is a major activity and is in progress at the data center. Communication and Information Management System All results from the forecast simulations are presented on the website www.rtsfros.com slash Mahakrishna with a link to real-time forecasts. The web page has provision for display for four different data types discharge, water level, precipitation and data from reservoir, water levels, inflow and outflow. Use of RTDAS and RTSF ROS the model gives three days forecasts of rainfall, reservoirs and river water level. This helps the field officers in proper flood monitoring and issues a warning to flood affecting areas well in advance by 72 hours. During a flood situation, using the offline scenario generation facility, any type of scenario can be generated before actual release of water from dam to know the probable flood levels on the downstream side of the river. This was the RTDSS developed for Krishna and Bhima basins. We are looking forward to get such a system implemented in the rest of Maharashtra so that all water resources available in the state of Maharashtra will get optimized. And one day Maharashtra state will become the most caring state in the country regarding this scarce natural resource.